Michael Dell, thanks for taking time for this interview. For a while now, you've been saying that India is one of your most important markets, uh, but India's contribution to revenue still remains largely insignificant, about 2 or 3 percent. Uh, how long before India contributes more significantly to your revenues? Well, today we have uh, almost a quarter of our global workforce in India. So all of those people are contributing greatly to the growth of Dell, which had you know, $61.5 billion of revenue last year. Mm -hmm. But you know, the, the, the local market in India is growing quite fast. Mm -hmm. we are, our business in, in India last year grew by 61%. And you know, if you look at, uh, you know, we've been here for 10 years. And if you if you sort of fast forward to 2020, you know, India will likely be the third largest economy in the world. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, we're absolutely seeing uh, enormous growth in our business and great opportunities ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, how has the last year been for Dell specifically? You said 61% growth in terms of revenues. Uh, what is the number that you achieved last year here in India? Well, it was well more than a billion dollars, and mm -hmm. and so we we you know, broke close through that. Closer to two billion? Uh, but well, not not quite close to, closer to two billion, but we're, we're certainly targeting mm -hmm. that two billion dollars as the next key milestone for us. Uh, and you think you should get there in about two three years? Uh, we 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 hope to get there pretty soon. Mm -hmm. uh, what what is driving growth here in India? At, at, the, at the rate we've been growing, it, it <laughs> happens pretty quickly. Okay, what's been driving growth here in India for you? The, the, the growth has been uh, quite uh, multifaceted. So mm -hmm. the fastest growing areas for us have been services and solutions and data centers. So you know we're quite strong in servers and storage and those have been great areas of investment for us. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly there's been a lot of growth in uh, small and medium sized enterprises and consumer as mm -hmm. well. Uh, you know today in India you have uh, rapidly growing small businesses mm -hmm. and uh, only 30 or 40 PCs per thousand people. Mm -hmm. uh, so tremendous opportunities to grow there. The infrastructure is expanding and the requirements for, uh, you know, uh, for, uh, for machines to be able to process and store uh, and intelligently use all that data mm -hmm. are growing tremendously as well. But you spoke about the small and medium business. That's a segment that you entered just about two years ago. Uh, what's the kind of response that you're seeing and do you think that in a sense will be the key driver for growth going forward? We participate in, in all the segments mm -hmm. and it is amazing to see uh, how underpenetrated it, it is. You know, mm -hmm. My belief is that uh, you, know, you know, technology is a great kind of democratizer uh, in an economic sense and and so you're seeing these small businesses able to take hold of technology and transform their businesses uh, quite rapidly and sort of enter on, on the global stage faster mm -hmm. so I think that'll be an area of fast growth mm -hmm. uh, but certainly there's plenty of growth uh, in in large enterprises as well the public sector has huge needs in, in IT and then of course we have the consumer uh, who has a great appetite for, for technology as well. Right. Michael, you've been a frequent visitor to India and you know, you've been watching the Indian market evolve very closely. Over the last few decades, we've seen quite a few strong Indian uh, software services company develop. But you know, there hasn't been a, a homegrown product company, so to say. Uh, what according to you explains, the, uh, explains that? You know, we've, we've been developing uh, our manufacturing uh, capability here in India. Today, we produce 90% of our of our uh, demand is fulfilled from our factory in Chennai. Mm -hmm. You know, biggest problem we have uh, in our factory is we don't have enough local suppliers. Mm -hmm. you know, and so we'd like to see more suppliers develop to, you know, you know, provide us the the, the incoming material. I think the software business has been a a, a great business uh, to to develop here locally. Services has been a great business to develop locally. I know the government has a great emphasis on developing the manufacturing sector. Uh, certainly, product companies tend to uh, be centered around uh, the you know, you know the, the, the ecosystem and the manufacturing capability. Uh, there are plenty of bright engineers here. I mean, we have a fantastic you know group of engineers in our business here developing products that are world class competitive, mm -hmm. and that we sell uh, around the world. Uh, so I don't think there are a lot of things hold, holding India back.
mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the, the intellectual capacity of its people. Mm -hmm. But in your dialogue with the government, and you know, you've been a champion of manufacturing in India uh, for a few years now. In your dialogue with the government, uh, what is the sense that you're getting? Are you disappointed at the pace with which the government is moving forward uh, in, you know, in, a, in a sense, building a better ecosystem for manufacturing in India? I think there's there's more to be done there, and and uh, no no disagreement on the objectives uh, mm -hmm. that you know both the government and, and industry have, mm -hmm. uh, and and I think uh, you know there there are there are always challenges in, in how do you how do you make this happen, uh, but the, the the growth in the in the end demand in India itself mm -hmm. uh, will cause the manufacturing sector to, to grow. Uh, our own uh, factory is a great example of the right. success that, that can be enjoyed uh, in, in the manufacturing sector uh, in, 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 in IT. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's going to take a kind of industrial policy mm -hmm. uh, you know, to really drive this uh, in, a, in a concerted fashion. And you see that happening in the next couple of years? Well, we certainly hope so. Right. Uh, you know, is that also one of the reasons why you'd probably, you know, sit back and hold on uh, a decision to probably source some equipment out of India as well? China is a, is a big sourcing hub, so to say, in, in this region. Uh, but do you think because of this, you'd probably wait for a few more years before you take a call on whether India can be potentially a, a sourcing hub for Dell? Well, you know, today we're exporting from India into Middle East and Africa, and we're, you know, encouraging, you know, kind of... Uh, Development of more uh, free trade, you know, with those with those nations, you know, for us, uh, we w again we'd like to see a stronger ecosystem uh, mm -hmm. of the suppliers, mm -hmm. and that is really the the fulcrum that will drive, you know, more output from our factory, which can uh, obviously support local demand, but also the export as well. Mm -hmm.